Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things you do, you can do, if you so desire. Do try this at home with Mr. G. Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be seeing the invisible. That's right, you're going to actually see some microscopic life forms, and you can do this at home, no problem. What are you going to need to get started? Well, you will need a laser pointer. Some type of a laser pointer that um, doesn't have to be green like this one, it can be one of the red ones, it can be the cheapest laser pointer you can find as long as it shines a beam of light, like this one does. You're also going to need a stack of books of different thicknesses, and you're going to need a coat hanger that you can bend into some shape, something like this. Now, well you need this. This is a syringe with no needle on the end, and you can use a syringe and it will be a lot easier for you, but you don't have to. You could maybe use a piece of string or something that you can use to suspend a drop of water from the end of. Now, we've also got a cup here with pond water in it. That's right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of this pond water into the syringe here like this. Now I've got pond water in the syringe. I'm gonna place it in my neat little stand that I made, and I'm going to eject a drop of water out the bottom of it here like this so that it's just suspended from the end of it. Don't want it to drip clear off, just want it to be suspended from the end. I'll pull you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about and how you'll need a drop of water to be suspended like this one is right here. Okay, here you can see our drop of water suspended from the syringe. Now you don't have to use a syringe, but it does make things a little bit easier. If you can find something that you can basically suspend a drop of water from in a stable condition like we've got going here, then that's all you'll need. Okay, what we're going to want to do next is you're going to, kind of, you're going to want to position the books in such a way that the laser pointer will shine directly through that drop of water. Now mine are just a little high here, so what I've done, or what I've learned to do, is to take portions of books and until I get it just right. There, that's real close. Now, we're going to set this whole assembly up with some kind of a wall in the background in a darkened room. And you're going to shine your laser pointer through the drop of water and it's going to project something onto the wall. What exactly will it project? Let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to get my laser pointer positioned here. There we go. Just about got it on the drop here. But it's position, you'll know it. There we go. And look at that. We've got tiny microscopic organisms swimming around in our drop of water. Now sometimes you'll see plant life, sometimes you'll see actual aquatic um, animals, small animals. And this is actually working much like a crude microscope. And look at that. Look at the different things in there. I hope you see this as well as I am. Whoops. Well, there we go. What we're really seeing are the shadows of these creatures inside of that drop of water. It is really cool. It's really a lot of fun. And try different types of water. Try your own tap water, especially if you have, if you have a well and you're not on city water. Um, and you'll see these different organisms fly, flitting around inside of the, uh, the drop of water. It's very, very cool. There comes something cool, look at that. Wow, look at this thing coming, whoa. Must be some, oh, that's some kind of filamentaceous algae it looks like. Wow, that was cool. The 
lot of times you'll see these things actually like moving around and swimming. It's pretty sweet. Oh, there's some neat stuff right there. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well, I hope you have fun with this little experiment because you can get some really, really nice results with this and it's very, very simple to do. There comes that algae again, wow. That's actually so small you couldn't see it with your, with your naked eye. You can only see it if it was magnified a huge amount of times and that's exactly what this does because the drop of water acts like a lens and it actually casts the shadow through that lens onto the wall and you're seeing micros the microscopic world here actually. Very cool, very cool indeed. Wow, wasn't that cool? Well, I'll tell you what, I actually did today's video with no outtakes, but that doesn't mean I won't leave you with a few at the end. I'll pick out some outtakes from past episodes of 30 Seconds and Do Try This At Home and other shows. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun looking at the microscopic world. It didn't take a whole lot to do it either. I hope you have fun at home trying this and try different types of water. Water from a pond, water from a puddle, your own tap water. Don't forget to visit www.mrgme.com and www.mindlessmirth.com. Both links right down here in the description of this very video. I'm Mr. G and I'll see you next time right here on Do Try This! At home! So, here we go. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that was great. Did you see that? Weak. Very weak. Plate your Plate. For every action, there's an equal and opposite.